What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, you and I'll be drawing one of my favorite fictional pigs, Olivia. Let's begin today's lesson in the center page and draw the nose. Now the nose is a triangle shape, so we're gonna start at the very top in the center. I'm just gonna bend this out and then come down toward the left. Let's go back up to the top. We just wanna round out the tip, come out and then bend this down towards the right, towards the same height. Let's close off the bottom of the nose with a curve. We're gonna come down the middle and then bend that up towards the right. Now I want to draw two long ovals on either side for the nostrils. So let's start on the top left, come down towards the bottom, round this out and go back up towards the top. Let's leave a gap in between the nostrils and draw the same thing on the right. And we'll fill the inside of the nostrils in black. Now along the top of the nose, we're gonna move out to the side and draw two ovals for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left, come down and back up. Let's line this up over on the right side. And it'll fill the inside of the eyes in black. Let's move back down and draw in the mouth. We start over on the left side. Let's curve the mouth, coming down, and it'll bend that up towards the right side. And let's bend this up along the side, going out and up towards the top. And I'll add a small bracket on the ends. Now with the face complete, let's move out and draw on the top of the head, just up above the nose in the center. I'm just gonna bend the head going out and then come down towards the side, go back to the center, go out and then down towards the right. Now I'm gonna bend the head around the corners of the mouth, I'm gonna go out and then down towards the base of the neck. Let's close off the bottom with a curve, we go down the middle, and we'll bend that back up. Now along the bottom, we're gonna add a fold for the chin. Starting on the left, come down, and bend that up. Let's go back up to the top and draw in the ears. We start on the left side, we're gonna go up, bend that out toward the left. Let's line this up on the right, going up and out. Let's add a bend, going across and then out toward the left and then the right side. And then from here, we're just gonna bend the ear coming down and back in towards the side of the head. And down, and then bend that in. Now you wanna trace the ears along the inside. Let's start from the tip, and come down. I'm just gonna bend this in towards the side of the head. Let's round this out and trace the inside of the ear. And we'll bend this out toward the tip. Let's do the same thing on the right. Round this out, and go back up towards the top. Now with the head complete, let's work our way down the side of the body. Let's start on the left side, and come down, and then bend that out. And we'll do the same thing on the right down towards the same height. Now you want to connect these two lines with a curve across the bottom of the dress. So we're going to come down the middle and then bend that up. Let's add those straps coming across the shoulders. Start from the top of the body and goes down and in. Let's flatten off the end of the strap with a straight angled line and then go back up and out towards the side. Let's add two small circles on the end for the buttons. Now from the inside corner of the strap, let's curve this down and then up. And then from the outside, we bend this down and out towards the side of the body. Let's add a pocket in the center of the body. Start with a straight line going across. And we'll draw a half circle across the bottom of that pocket. Now you want to draw a character with the arms bent in towards the hip. Let's start from the top of the body. Start with a straight angle line coming down and out towards the elbows. And it will bend the arm coming down and then in towards the side of the body. Now you're going to trace these two lines along the inside.
Now we're gonna add some stripes across the arms. Let's connect these two points with a curve going up and then down on both sides. And step up and draw two curves on either side. Let's do the same thing across the bottom of the arm. Starting from the inside of the elbow, then it's out and down. Step in and draw that again. Let's add a stripe across the center of the shirt. Starting from the left, coming down and then up. Now inside these open gaps, we're gonna draw two lines, going across the top and the bottom, and then we'll line that up on the right side. Now let's tuck the legs in underneath. We need a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side, then the leg going out, and then down toward the left, go to the right, and go in the opposite direction. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. And come down and then up. From the outside of the foot, let's bend the leg coming in and then up towards the top. And then on either side, we're gonna add three curves. Let's start with the top, coming down and up. Line that up on the right. Let's do that two more times, going down toward the bottom of the ankle. Now let's separate the toes with a point. We're gonna go up in the middle, angle this down and then out. And we'll do the same thing on the right. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a cartoon illustration of Olivia. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. And you can check out more lessons on our other two channels. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.